Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I don't really know what it's going to be about. But I got this idea from Hannah Louise Poston. I'll link her channel down below. She did a DIY makeup advent calendar and I thought it was such a good idea because I have so much makeup, as you guys probably know from all the hauls I've been doing, and I haven't been using a lot of it because I've been trying to do like a, a seasonal makeup basket if you've seen some of my other videos I've been talking about it so I've been trying to focus on using the products that are in my basket um, but I have been buying new things and not using them so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do this makeup advent calendar because I think I will have the choice of things that I've already owned but I haven't tried them yet and it'll be like a surprise to myself. Also advent calendars for makeup are so expensive and like not worth your money so I thought it'd be fun to use the products I already own. And I put a little twist on this because in Hannah's video she actually made her friend, like one of her girlfriends, pick out the products and it seemed like she already knew about makeup and she really like thought it through but I made Josh pick up my products so it could be kind of funny because he doesn't know anything about makeup like he doesn't know the difference between like mascara and eyeliner so this could be entertaining but I thought well I'll show you some clips of what we did because I did film like me showing him where the products are and what he can pick from because if I just told him like pick, oh by the way it's 12 items, so if I had just told him like pick 12 items, he probably would have picked like 12 lipsticks, like he just doesn't know. So I showed him like where the products are in my collection, how I have like drawers for different things. Okay, so this is all my makeup and it's in these containers here. So what I want you to do mm -hmm. is choose 12 items. From just these three? No, it could be from down here also. But um, try to get like a variety of things. Mm -hmm. So like... Well, you're going to maybe know stuff that I took. If well, I, I won't. If I, I don't look these, in here though. I take from these, these things oh. you're going to know. So I'll take from... I might not. Okay. Like look, here's lip products. Okay, I'll take from the, 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 the things. Here's okay. highlighters, blush, okay. more blush. Okay, I'll take from the 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 the, the okay. shelves. But I just want to show. Okay. You. There's some random stuff in here. I already forgot the names of everything you told me. Well, what I mean is mm -hmm. just don't choose like twelve lip products because okay. I want there to be a variety, mm -hmm. and try to choose like. One from this drawer, one from this drawer, one from this drawer. You know, like gotcha. not all from the same. And how are you gonna more and do I have to put them and in the And then boxes? after, I have these boxes. Okay. Are you gonna put them in each box? Yeah, there's more than twelve boxes in here, though. So these ones, like, might will just fit a flat thing, mm -hmm. but you can also use this. Okay. You know, just like gotcha. Get okay, creative. get out of here. So this is my advent calendar. I have four, eight, yeah, twelve options, and I'm gonna choose them randomly. And then, I guess in every video, I'll show the product that I picked that day, this and I'll first. have to use it. Thank you. And by the way, if you guys want a video on my makeup collection, I can do that as well. I was thinking about that while filming this, but anyway, so I guess we'll just open the first item now. I have no idea what it is, so I, that's why I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm going to try and use the product um, to do some makeup today. So let's start. So I showed you guys what it looked like in all the little 
gift boxes it turned out really cute but I'll get the first item so this is the first item I don't know he told me to open this one first I don't know why because he probably doesn't even know what this is but let's see what it is exciting oh what is this it's a Fenty Beauty bronzer yes Oh, okay. Okay, that was really confusing. I thought I already had this in my makeup basket, so I was like, do I have two bronzers by Fenty? No, it's just the one. This is my Fenty Beauty bronzer in Shady Biz. I've actually used quite a bit of this, if you can tell. Kind of wore down the logo. Um because this was actually in my spring summer makeup basket that's why I had, I had put it back but i actually really do like this bronzer so we're gonna use this today for the rest of the makeup i guess i'll just pick some other things from my makeup basket and we can talk about those at the same time because otherwise this video is gonna be like five minutes long so yeah i will do my base off camera because I don't like switch around my base products it's pretty much always the same thing so I'll do that first and I'll be back okay so I have my base on and I'm just gonna leave the powder there for a bit um, in case I get any fallout so I think while I was doing this I decided I would do kind of like a full face of nothing new so if you've seen other people's videos like that it's when they use things that they already own instead of you know showing new products all the time so I think that's fitting for this advent calendar kind of theme so I took I'm gonna take some products from my makeup basket and I grabbed this one this is the naked cosmetics I don't yeah there's no name actually but it's basically an eyeshadow trio I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago can I keep it open um, this would have been really good in the fall but I didn't have a chance to use it yet so that's what I'll be using today and I'm kind of just gonna go for it I mean just do something random I guess since there's no like matte uh, shades in this little trio I'm actually gonna use the bronzer for my transition shade which is um, something I like to do when I don't have a lot of time to think about a look I did this in my last video in my easy holiday glam video so I've been trying to kind of do vlogmas Although I haven't really been doing vlogs. <laughs> They've been like actual sit down videos. So it's taken me a bit longer. Which I expected. Because like I have a job. And <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to like film, edit and upload a video a day. It's kind of crazy. Um, but I just wanted to like challenge myself. And there was like some days where I just couldn't I've yeah this has been a year for me and I don't really want to talk about it on YouTube but if you know me in person you know what I've been going through and yeah it's been a rough December but I'm still trying to get some videos out there and not because I feel like I have to or like because everyone else is doing it because like I'm not even a youtuber obviously you can see that I have I think 36 subscribers so it's not like I have to like prove anything to anyone but I just like this is like my well one of my hobbies which I have many so yeah it was just like a little challenge for myself but I think I've done pretty good I've been having fun like I don't feel forced to do this I just I'm doing it because I like to so yeah but that being said if you guys have any 
suggestions for videos or anything you want to see you can always just let me know I do have um, I did film some like of a decorate with me vlog which I'm hoping to get up soon I haven't finished all my Christmas decorations though and I feel like Christmas is coming like way too fast this year I don't know if you guys feel that also but it's kind of it's um yeah it's freaking me out a little so these are all like uh, metallic shimmer shades so i'm trying to find like a brush that would work well with this formula i'm gonna try and use all of these colors also this one looks good this tart brush can you see not really but so i think i'm gonna put the green on the inner corner, the orange in the middle, and the purple on the outside, and just, we'll see what happens. I don't think I've ever used this, to be honest. I think I've only swatched it, so we'll see. So I just copied the same thing on the lower lash line that I did on the top so if you can see like it's green, orange and purple and I'm just going back in with some of the bronzer just to blend it out a little. But yeah, I was actually kind of surprised that the purple is like the most pigmented shade in that palette because normally purples are like supposedly hard to formulate and the green was the least pigmented one which I was surprised about. Oh and my under eyes are so dry right now they're actually like flaking i'm really confused i don't know what's happening <laughs> for blush maybe i should dig this back out this is my cover effects perfecter face palette also from a boxy charm it's in the wrong shade for me this is the medium deep palette but i can use all of these shades as blushes they're meant to be like highlighters, but obviously none of these except this brightener shade are good for my skin tone. So I'm going to use this for blush. What would go well with this? I'm going to go in with the big shade here. This is supposed to be a finishing powder, but I use it as blush. Okay, my skin is like peeling today i have to i only didn't do my skincare like one night and it's like horrid so i'm gonna have to fix that <laughs> i'm just using like the products i showed you in my skincare video if you didn't see that one and i'm gonna use the brightener for my highlight too since i have this palette open i'll use my fan brush here And I'm going to put some of that on my inner corner also. And then obviously I have to use my bronzer. Oh, and by the way, what I'm going to do once I've opened like all the items in my advent calendar, I'm going to put them in my next makeup basket so to make sure that I get enough use out of them. I don't know how many of them you'll see in videos because I don't think I'll have time to do one video a day but if not I'll show you like an update in um, like a vlog or something because I do have other videos planned which I'm excited about so 
I need a bronzer brush that will fit in this little mini guy. I'm going to use this uh, duo fiber brush. I think that's what I was using in the summer. There is a mirror in there, but it's way too small. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of product. <laughs> I'm so used to my Marc Jacobs bronzer now, which is apparently way less pigmented than this one because I kind of went in with like the same pressure, but I got way more product. <laughs> I actually really like this bronzer. This is the, um, the second shade from Lightest in Rihanna's collection. It's a really good tone for my skin. It's not like orange, but it's also not too cool toned. So it does add warmth to the face, which I like. So I'm going to finish my eyes, mascara, and eyebrows, and I'll be back to do a lip. Okay, I am back. I actually kind of like how this eye turned out. It was totally random and like I just went with it, but I like the tones. Yeah. Oh, and I added some of the highlighter on the on my brow bone just to give some more brightness. So now for the lips, I'm thinking something like a brownie nude. So what I have in my box I have this Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick in bow and arrow, which I think is going to be the one. Um, because the other nude that I have is very light. It's my Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love in Sugar. It's like this. And I also have glosses. I'm going to use this because I haven't even used it since I bought it, honestly. Just kind of crazy. I don't think this is my favorite formula. It's a bit dry, but let's see. That shade makes me look a little dead, <laughs> but I kind of like it. So we'll see how it dries down. Right now it feels pretty good feels very thin on the lips um, but yeah the true tell for liquid lipstick is when it's dry how it feels because some of them get really crumbly and gross and start to like peel off your lips so yeah and I don't remember if this formula will do that so I'll just wait like a minute or two and see what happens okay so I think that's it I wasn't sure if I wanted to put a gloss on but I think I think I want to leave it matte. It's a nice like contrast from like the super uh, mostly shimmer eyelids. Um, but overall, I think I really like this look. And it was super random. So yeah, this idea was pretty fun. So basically, I'm just going to keep opening one um, of my items every day. Um, which means that my last one will be on Christmas Eve. So... I made sure to time it properly because I'm not going to be here on actual Christmas day. So yeah, I think it's going to be fun and it's going to inspire me to use different products and to keep using things that I already own instead of keep browsing the new product section at Sephora, right? <laughs> so yeah, overall I pretty much liked every product that I used and I forgot how much I really like this bronzer. I think I actually do like it better than my Marc Jacobs one, um, which is a shame because this was very expensive. I'm sure I bought it when it was like a VIP sale. Of course, it's like a huge pan, but I don't know. I feel like this one is just more flattering on me maybe. Or not, well, this one's pretty nice too, but maybe this one adds a touch more warmth and it blends out so nicely. Like you guys saw when I first put this on, there was like a huge streak and it just blended away. So yeah, I really like this. Um, I don't have any other bronzers from her and this is obviously a mini size, but I mean, if I ever used 
all of these bronzers up which I probably won't I would repurchase this in the full size so yeah that's it for me I hope you like this video I know it's a bit weird but <laughs> um yeah and maybe if you guys have a lot of makeup in your collection and you're thinking of doing like a declutter but you want to test things out first this is like a fun way to like surprise yourself I think so yeah um give this video a like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video